Hey everybody, my name's Mandy and this is my before and after story. My two words are worthless and worthy. Uh, I grew up in a religious household. We go to church every Sunday and I grew up learning the stories of God and the stories of the Bible and just knowing that God loved me and God sent his son to die for me. But I never truly understood that concept. Um, I accepted Christ into my life when I was nine years old, praying with my mom, and I remember it meaning something at the time. I remember feeling like, all right, this is it, this is what we're going to do, but I was really challenged in understanding what a relationship with God was when I reached fifth or sixth grade. Um, and about the end of fifth grade, the beginning of sixth grade, girls that used to be my friend, um, they decided they weren't anymore. They decided that I wasn't good enough, and they wanted to make sure that I knew that every single day. So I would go to school every day, and I would hear the worst things about myself being told to me, and things I never thought were the worst things were being told to me on a daily basis. I was never good enough in terms of the way I looked, or the way I acted, or my personality, or my schoolwork, or anything. I was just being put down day after day, and I never understood why. I never understood what I did wrong to be treated that way. And it was really hard for me to trust God. I thought, God, if you really love me, why do I have to go through this? Why are you making this happen to me? I thought that you loved me. I thought that you sent your son for me. So if you did that, why is this happening to me? I didn't understand that bad things could happen to people that God loved. So um, every day I would just be like, God, either make this stop or just let me die because I can't handle this anymore. I couldn't w handle waking up and going to school every day and just feeling worthless about myself. Just hearing all these girls say such horrible things about me, I just couldn't handle it anymore. And um, in seventh grade, I remember just feeling compelled to read my Bible, and it wasn't something I'd done in a while. But I felt drawn to read the book of Daniel. And I remember reading the story of Daniel in the lion's den and realizing that school was my lion's den. And God would pull me through it one day. And he would had a plan for me. He was going to pull me out of it. And I was like, I was relying on that. I was trusting him. I was like, it's going to go away soon. It's going to go away soon. And eventually in eighth grade fresh, and freshman year, it stopped altogether. And I made sure that nothing I did would ever allow that to happen again. I made sure that I did not do anything to just make myself noticeable and give anyone a reason to put me down again. So I kind of laid low in high school. I had my small group of friends, and I made sure I found my worth in schoolwork and following the rules. I made sure I did everything right. I never did anything wrong. I was the girl who did her schoolwork perfectly right on time. I never talked in class. And I had to do well in school, and that was how I found myself, to be good enough. And if I didn't get an A on an assignment, then that was the end of the world, and it brought back all those words about how I wasn't good enough again. And it was basically a cycle of going through that all through high school. And then my freshman year at community college, um, I really, for the first time, just understood that God finds me worthy. He sent his son to die on a cross for me just to make, just because he loved me and wanted me to have a relationship with him. And that was the first, just the first time that it really clicked in my mind that I was worthy to God. And from that time on, I just worked on studying the Bible and praying and just working on my relationship with God. And then when I transferred to ISU in August and found Creel, I found myself in a community of Christians that I never had before, and I was challenged to grow even more in my relationship with God, and also challenged in my relationship with grow, to grow with other people. And I found that I mean something to them. I mean something to this world. And what I went through meant something to God, and he had a plan for it all along. So this is my story of how I went from being worthless in the eyes of man to worthy in the eyes of Christ. Thanks for listening.